On the left is the Clockwork Pie Pico Calc. It's a Raspberry Pi Pico based DIY kit that you build yourself. In the other corner, you have the Legend, the Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus. It's the undisputed king of the classroom, the calculator that has literally dragged millions through the terrors of algebra and calculus. The PicoCalc is a feisty open source upstart powered by a Raspberry Pi, not just a calculator, but a tiny pocket-sized computer for anyone who loves to code create and tinker this is the 2025 showdown and i'm jay blanked which one is a student's secret weapon for acing exams and which one is a coder's dream machine today we find out all right, let's cut right to the chase for those cramming for a test tomorrow. If you need a calculator for school for standardized tests like the SAT or ACT, and you want something that your teacher already knows how to use, the TI-84 Plus is the champion. It's built for the classroom, period. But if you're a hobbyist or programmer who's into microcontrollers, then the PicoCalc is a programmable little powerhouse made just for you. They're built for two very different worlds. Now let's get into why. So the TI-84 Plus isn't just a calculator, it's an institution. Its biggest strength isn't in what it can do, but how it's been perfectly refined over decades for one single purpose, solving math problems in a classroom fast. Need to graph a function? It's effortless. There are big, chunky clear label keys for everything every function is exactly where you expect it to be because it's been shaped by years of feedback from teachers and that polished experience means less time fighting with the calculator and more time actually understanding the math but the absolute knockout punch for the ti-84 is that it can actually be used on big exams the organizations that run the SAT and ACT have super strict lists of approved calculators and the TI-84 Plus is always on them. And finally, you can't ignore the ecosystem. Teachers know it inside and out, textbooks have tutorials on it, and there's a video online for just about any problem you might be stuck on. It's tough and it's pretty much built to survive being thrown in a backpack for years. But for all its strengths in school, the TI-84 is a walled garden and that's on purpose. If you're a hacker or a tinkerer at heart, you're going to hit that wall and you're going to hit it fast. Now in the last few years, Texas Instruments has made a point of locking down the calculator's operating system to improve security. For them, it's about keeping students focused on STEM, but for coders, it means the days of easily loading custom, low-level programs are long gone. And it's not just the software, the TI-84 is a math machine, not a physical computer, so it has no GPIO pins. You can't just hook up an LED, a motor, or a temperature sensor and write a quick program to control something in the real world. It's designed to be live on a desk, not to be the brain of a robot. And for a creative coder, that's a deal breaker. Okay, so what is this PicoCal Challenger? Well, calling it just a calculator doesn't really do it justice. It's more like a handheld computer kit that happens to be powered by a Raspberry Pi Pico, and it's aimed squarely at makers and hobbyists. Really, the hardware tells the whole story. The heart of this thing is a Raspberry Pi Pico, which is a dual-core ARM processor. It has a bright little color screen, a full mechanical QWERTY keyboard, a micro SD card slot, and even a speaker. It runs on standard 18650 batteries that you can easily swap out, and most importantly, it has GPIO ports. And that brings us to what the PicoCalc isn't. It's not a calculator designed for school. It doesn't have that super efficient math focus interface of the TI-84. Now, it can absolutely do math, but you have to think like a programmer. 
if you want to graph like y equals x squared on the ti84 you would just press a few buttons but on the pico calc you would have to write a little script in a language like MicroPython that loops through those x values calculates the y values and then tells the screen to draw each pixel one by one it's an amazing way to learn computer science but totally impractical with two minutes left on a test okay next up is where the pico Cup completely demolishes the competition but first if you're finding this useful hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and drop a comment below are you team ti84 for the classroom or team pico calc for the workshop okay so if our last section sounded a little negative it's only because the pico calc was being forced to fight in the wrong arena but now let's bring it home to its home turf programming and hacking in this ring, the Pico Calc doesn't just win, it laps the TI-84. The Pico Calc is an open source beast. Since it's built on the Raspberry Pi Pico, custom firmware can be flashed onto it in seconds. So you're not locked into anything. You can literally program it right out of the box with MicroPython, MMBasic, or even Lua. You can connect it to your computer, write code in a real editor, and just upload it right away. And with the GPIO pins, you could write a Python script to blink an LED, read data from a weather sensor, or control the motor for a tiny robot. The PicoCalc transforms it into a portable dev board, an IoT device, or a tool for learning electronics. The community is already going wild, designing custom firmware, 3D printing new cases, and even getting retro game emulators running on it. It's a device that practically begs you to ask, well, what can I make this do? And you can compose chiptune music, build a text adventure, or just create some pixel art. The fun is really in the freedom. Okay, so after all that, who wins the duel? Well, honestly, there isn't one clear winner. It's more like they're champions for two totally different sports. For any student, teacher, or parent buying a calculator for school, the choice is really simple. Get the TI-84+. Plus. It's guaranteed acceptance in exams, it's classroom-focused design, and the mountain of supports resources make it the right tool for the job. It's a reliable, polished machine for learning math. And for the hobbyist, the tinker, the programmer, or the student who wants a fun project, well, the PicoCalc is an awesome and affordable little computer. It's a platform for creativity, a tool for learning to code, and a gateway into the world of making and hardware hacking. It isn't the best calculator, but it's a fantastic pocket computer. And what if you don't have to choose? Well, a tech savvy classroom could easily use the TA-84 for tests and homework, and maybe the Pico Calc for like an after school coding club or something. So they aren't really enemies, they're just champions of different philosophies. So to wrap it up, if you need to do exam approved math fast, grab the TI-84. If you want to program, build, and tinker, grab the PicoCalc. They're built for different worlds. Well, thanks for watching this 2025 calculator duel. Now, if you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech content. I'm Jay Blanks. Thanks for watching. Peace.